So and I think the role of art has never been more critical. It's a mirror, it's a lens, and it's an intervention. And I think how you use art varies across that spectrum. It, it tells you who you are. It tells you who you can be. It tells you what can or what cannot be. That enriched environment, you know, cities and structures that are built to foster and are conducive to help can enhance resilience. This is a revolution not against a regime, not against corporations. It's actually a revolution against ourselves. People who are closer to the issues are closest to the solution. Who is in the room and who isn't? Who isn't in this space? Right, so that seems like an easy question to ask. Under that question is something hard. Why aren't they in this space? What is it about our institutions, our day-to-day -day life, our way of life, that makes democracy such a fragile thing right now, to this day? That is something I think we need to interrogate, all of us really deeply. You know, we don't want to just create spaces that will directly improve people's well-being but we want to create spaces that allows people to help themselves improve their well-being.